In this short video, I will show you how to use grading tools and commands in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 to design finished ground surfaces. I will pre present how to create grading group, select and apply grading criteria and do earthworks analysis and site balancing. Existing terrain is already imported with aerial photography draped over existing ground model. I also used plot boundary feature line to hide part of the surface for visualization purposes. From an architect, I have received proposed supermarket preliminary design, which includes information about proposed level for supermarket footprint, which is currently set at 55 meters. I start on the home tab and create design. I start on the home tab in create design section, where I create a new grading group and let a new surface to also to be also created automatically. Next, I need to specify the grading settings, which are consolidated into named criteria sets to eliminate rep repetitive prompting when creating grading. They include settings such as grading method, type of projection, values and formats for cut and fill slopes, and also how the software will approach conflict situations. To create grading projection, I'm applying selected grading criteria to a plot boundary. Following the command li line prompts, I point the side to grade to and reconfirm cut and fill slope values. I can create the projection for the full length of the boundary, but on this occasion, I have decided to specify the distance myself. I may later use create transition command on the reminding, reminding length to create variable slope grading if required. Please note that I mistakenly clicked midway point as the end point of my grading and I can easily correct that mistake using grips and pointing the right location. All related graphic is automatically refreshed. I can use infill command to fill the area inside selected boundary, valid areas included, including any islands detected that can be converted to infill are highlighted as I move the cursor over them. The grading phase is added and the grading is updated. If the criteria selected initially do not create satisfactory results, I can use editing tools to edit grading. As presented here, I'm changing cut and fill slope values to create less sloped embankments, resulting in grading extending into the river, which I need to edit again. Using grading volume tools, I can display and adjust the elevation of the grading design. By comparing grading surface and, and existing terrain, I can see volume calculations. I can change the elevation of either an entire grading group or a selection of grading objects to optimize cut and fill requirements and resulting artworks. I can also let the software to perform analysis for me by using automatic volume balancing command, which uses an iterative process adjusting grading up or down to achieve the target volume.